Uh, hello guys, in this video we will, we will be going uh, through the uh, configuration. Uh, the last time we installed Magento and installed the sample data. So today we will be just doing the basic uh, configuration in Magento. So let's head to the admin panel. Admin. Al Maliki and then my password. So I head to uh, stores and then configuration. Uh, I installed Magento, but I haven't done anything at the uh, regarding the configuration. So first of all, in general, uh, I'll go to the country options. You see the default country is United States. I need to change it to United Kingdom and state options locale. Just make sure it's English, uh, United, United Kingdom, and the time zone is Greenwich, Europe, London. Uh, store information, just United Kingdom. And then that's it. That's all I need for this page or for this configuration. Let's hit save. Now it's saved. I go to the web. In the web, we need, I don't think we need anything here. The only thing we need, we might need is uh, the cookie restriction mode. If we enable it, then you will get the cookie uh, pop-up, the uh, privacy policy. You need to agree. Most of the website use it, so probably we just use it. Why not? Just enable it. The currency setup, all good. The store emails, the store emails, that's the owner emails, so they can provide you with the, uh, the shop owner's uh, emails, that they can provide you with their emails and details. This is the sales representative, and then customer support, and custom one, and custom two. The contacts is just enabling contacts, and then the email options where the contact form goes to, so this one and the email sender will be this one and then reports content management maybe i don't think we need to go to the report as of yet uh, the content management is all good now we go to the catalog in the catalog i don't think there is anything we need to do right now however we can like the list mode uh, whatever you want to do like a grid only, list only, grid and list, grid and list. So this is how you choose your configuration when the catalog, the category page uh, appears and how they display products in it. In the page, and this is the products per page on a grid allowed 12, 24, 36. Products per page on a grid default. So you can define the number. And that's all I think. We don't need flat category or flat catalog. I think uh, in most recent uh, Magento upgrades, uh, it discourages us from using these as yes. So we leave it as no. Product reviews, whether you want to enable it or disable. Uh, products alert, the price alert, price change alert. Uh, we don't need that and what else the the product image placeholder so if the product doesn't have any image then you can specify the placeholder for them the product video you can add the YouTube API key here so if you can upload uh, configure the uh, the YouTube video on the product page to display along with the images and then the prices whether you want to set the price for the product as a global or on a, or on website level so the product on website one will be equal to 22.99 or on product on website to a different price but in a global, it will be just global. This is the layered navigation. Uh, again, this is the catalog search. 
uh, whatever you search, uh, the search results will appear after three characters or four characters or two characters, whatever you want to add here. The maximum query length, how how much how many characters you can put in the search, in the search bar, and so on. This is the configuration for the Elasticsearch. Now, if I hit successful, and um, what else? Search engine optimization. Whether you want to end the pages with the .html or you want to end them with the this one, so whatever you want, you can do from here. And I think that's all downloadable on the time. So that's all for the category in the inventory. The stock options, the thing we are uh, interested in, whether you want the uh, products are managed stock or not. If they are not, so they are always available. Uh, if they are managed, then they will reach the threshold and then they become out of stock. So this is the configuration for this one. And this is a distance provider. And then because the, the store, I think, the store locator for the store locator or something. I'm not very sure of this one. Then XML sitemap, if you want to enable it and uh, generate it for the products, categories, CMS, and everything here. Uh, email to friend, do you want to enable it or you want to disable it? The security, so security, TXT, and then this is the recapture. You can use recapture for a storefront or admin panel on a storefront maybe you want to use the invisible uh, v2 or v3 you can add the configuration here or basically going for this one I'm not a robot so it looks nice but depends on your preferences now in the customer so login as a customer this is an extension brought from I think some extension provider and then uh, Magento adopted it and uh, made it the, to the core a newsletter you want to enable it and then subscriptions the customer configuration the account sharing whether you want the customer per website or you want it globally this globally so the customer is a customer for all websites or for one website only so if you are on a website you can register and then if you are a different website but within the same base code base then you would register for the second website but if you are global then you are a customer for all uh, what else this is the create an account enable automatic assignment and for the groups the default group is general and so on password options I think that's all so this is where redirect customers to dashboard after login yes no if yes it will go to the dashboard if no it will go to the previous URL or previous page uh, that's all so this is the number of lines whether you want to display the lines as two or one or three sorry or one or maximum four and then the minimum is one that's all we have I think this is the login options okay then you go to the wish list you want to enable it or disable it share options and my wish list promotions Code length, this is for coupon codes. A persistent shopping card, whether you want to enable it or not. So if you enable it, then you set all the values here. Then you go to the sales and the sales in general. And check out total sort order, how they appear on the checkout, subtotal discount, shipping tax, and so on. 
the reorder is enabled you can customer place an order and then they can hit the link as a reorder then they will go to the checkout if the product is in stock or enabled uh, allowed zero grand total yes allow zero grand total yes and for credit memo invoice and packing slip design so this is how you uh, do it from here this is a design and then this is the address and then they will appear in the invoice and packing slips a minimum order amount if you want to enable it then say for example I want 10 pounds minimum amount they cannot order with the items less if the checkout is less than 10 but I don't need to worry about this now the dashboard use aggregated data yes no I don't think I need it uh, this is how they want think improved dashboard performance um, the cron settings pending payment orders lifetime minutes and then instant purchase if you want to enable it you can just purchase instantly like buy now if your if your credit card details is stored you just need to buy now you don't need to go through everything and then you choose your your address this is the sales this is sales emails in the general asynchronous sending if you are on server you might want to enable it but because I'm on the development environment I don't need it so I just leave it as is the order is enabled that doesn't need anything but you can send a copy of the order a confirmation to someone else from your business as a copy so every time a customer receive a copy of the order then you will receive an order so if they complaining about anything you have a copy of that uh, email order comments yes enable invoice invoice comments shipment and everything else so you just don't need to go through these and then the PDF printouts for the invoice so just a nice configuration here then the tax uh, I don't need the vertex here now so the tax is something uh, need to configure as well so the shipping doesn't have any tax the default tax for product is taxable goods default tax class for customer retail customer so these are the ta tax IDs or tax types for the product and for the customer the calculation settings you calculate the tax based on the total uh, of the order this is very important so you can on raw total or on unit price so basically I think I just refresh just in case I've done any changes and then United Kingdom price display settings exclude tax so we just leave it as is and then we might come back to these again so I just save here now we go to the checkout we enable the checkout the shopping cart the lifetime quote lifetime how many days will be 30 days we just leave it as is my cart link and everything here just leave it as is shipping settings this is something we need to configure as well so our origin country is United Kingdom and then here you put your postcode and shipping policy whether you want to display it or not in the checkout or so just don't and then save multi shipping we don't need don't think we need to enable it allow shipping to multiple addresses you might need to do it or you just disable it if I don't use it then I just disable it 
delivery methods. So you have all those delivery methods. You see flat rate is enabled, free shipping is not, table rates enabled, in-store delivery is not enabled. I think this is clicking a like something like that in store. I think this is a new in uh, 2.4 and then all these UPS, USPS, FedEx and DHL. Now the Google API, Google Analytics, if you want to enable it, of course, but we're not going to use it here. Payment methods, you select the country as your country Think and save, and then you might use Klarna, use whatever payment method you might install. New method, new payment methods like Stripe or uh, SagePay, whatever method you want. You can configure PayPal or Braintree if you want to use them. Now, 3D Skewer is Cardinal Commerce Production Environment, and then put this um, we're not going to use it uh, address cleansing is not going to be used yet board dot digital I'm going and some people are going to use it some people not uh, services we have the magenta web API this is the web API and then all out this is the out we use and now in the advanced in the admin so admin user emails, this is only about the admins, security, admin account sharing, no, you can make it yes, so anybody can uh, sign for the same account at the same time, more than once, and then you can display capture or not, the dashboard. System, here, we just leave everything as is, but we might need to visit the, the system, the pull page cache, you use in built-in or varnish. You might, you might go with varnish on production. And then that's all I think here storage configuration media you can use database or file system and then in the developer you can use I think we just leave everything as is so we just probably want to use the merge CSS minify CSS and the same for the JavaScript and image processing this is different and then the JavaScript and the CSS and that's all I think this covers everything so if we go and clear cache one of the things like we have to see is we have the cookie policy enabled and then we should see it on the front end and here we go this is the allow cookie. This comes from in the web because we enabled this. Uh, that's it for for the video, and I think the next video will be something uh, around how to remove some of the modules from Magento Core or installed by default by Magento. Uh, until then, I see you later.